Okay, I'm doing a <clears throat> doing a quick screencast. I'm going to show you where to go ahead and upload your files that I send you in the package. You're going to click this icon here on a blank chart. It's called a Meta Editor. Just go ahead and wait for that to pop up. Okay, so you're going to come over here to File. I'm going to go to Open Data Folder. Just open that up. Okay, now down here in MQL4 open that up now you're gonna open experts now it should be looking like this now you're gonna leave this open and when that file that I send you you're gonna grab it and you're gonna drag it in here and drop it there okay drag it and drop it in here and then after that you're gonna go back you're gonna open your indicators folder then the rest of the files that I send you everything else except for Rinko you're gonna drag them and drop them in here you can either do it a uh, group drag and drop or you can do it separately, whichever one you prefer. And after that, you're going to just exit that, exit that, and then you must exit your MT4. Okay, you got to exit your MT4, else your, your things will not load up. Okay, now after that, you're going to go here, your navigator window, and everything should be closed when you begin. So it's going to look like this, maybe. Okay, you're going to open the experts. You're going to get your Renko. You're going to drag them over here and you're going to drop them. Now, I'm not going to drop them because I already got wrinkles on my chart. Minute one, drag them, drop it here. It must be on minute one. Okay, drag them and drop them. Then, how it says here, you can close your window now. I do not advise that you close this window just because your wrinkles might act up. So just leave this open. Go over here open offline and open up whatever whatever currency pair you put it on minute one AUDCHS see how I got that you would go there AUDCHS and you would go to M2 on whichever chart that you put it on M1 you would go to M2 to that pair double click it and open it up then when you're done it should look like this okay now just after that get your indicators that I send you over here, drag them and drop them. Pick whichever one, drag them and drop them. Drag them and drop them, whichever one that I sent you. And then you're all good to go. Alright, it's Rose Williams with another setup video. I'm doing another couple videos in, uh, in a while. I might be updating strategy. I, I might just leave it the same. It works pretty good for now. So I'm, just, I'm probably going to just leave it the same. As you can see, I'm going to go over quick. If you go in by the arrow, and the touch of this bottom band, you're going to get good pips, 62 pips, that's a good move. Now here again, 33 pips. Now you can either wait after you get the arrow and for it to cross your, uh, your, your lines right here that I sent you, then you can go, okay? And also, when you get this yellow, you're going to get a pop-up window when this starts to turn. That's going to be a signal for this and a signal for this, and that's a signal to go. Same thing with a buy. Now, it may not touch the bottom band, or it may just get close to it. So, use your better judgment, okay? Now, here, you got an arrow, and also at the same time, this turn. Now, you got an arrow in about five pips later, you got a signal for this. So you got really no drawdown, no drawback, no pullback, anything like that. So it was just straight shot. Went up 17 pips, went down three pips. Went up 10, went down nine. You still got really no drawback, okay? Went up, went down, went up, down. Maximum of 67 pips until you got this arrow. And this signal right here to get out now what I would do is if you go in for a buy put your stop loss maybe let's say 10 to 15 pips back 10 to 15 okay pips back stop loss or you can put your stop loss at the either end of the band okay same thing for a sell 10 to 15 let's make this a little smaller So your stop loss would be maximum stop loss would be here 15 15 
pips or you can just put on the band I will go 15 pips just to be safe and you got a maximum that was a good one 111 pips that was an awesome one actually wish I could have wish I could have got in on that one but I didn't but it's okay see how I crossed your lines here and I also crossed this 15 moving average that I sent you this demo double exponential moving average okay as you can see it's quite profitable 52 pips now just because if you get in if you get in the trade and it doesn't move for quite some time it may take a couple hours to get up to where you want it to go don't get out just set your set your stop you know I don't set stops because you know I don't, I don't want any market manipulation you know messing up my trade or anything like that but you set your stops take set your profits okay Boom, 48 pips. As you can see, you got it for a sale there. And it's 50 moving average. Stopped it. Okay? Stopped it from going anywhere. Now, you still got a profit of 10 pips. <laughs> okay, you still got a profit. You still got a profit. 10 pips. It's better than no pips. got back in you could have got here 78 pips went down you got double confirmation boom came back up hit that 50 got another red arrow boom that gives you more confidence and your histogram down here is still red okay that's the main indication of a trend boom got your last signal get out of the trade right here so 45 pips now you can do this back and forth, boom, boom. You can do this back and forth, boom. Scalping right here, 15 pips, 20 pips, 25 pips, 69 pips. You can just scalp, and here goes the long hold trade right here. 111 pips, 58 pips. You get the point. This is just really profitable. Now here, if you get in for a buy, boom. It go up till you get to an exit signal. Okay. Now, here in real action, you got a buy signal. Now, this might come like the last one, maybe five, ten pips later. Your indication to go ahead and go up for a buy, which is across to this histogram. Now, me personally, what I do is I just go in when I see the arrow. I just go in and I set my stop, or I look for my stop to, you know. Give me about 15 pips back, which is, you know, for the most part, the green band or the red band is going to be. And that's pretty much how you use the system.